Hey guys, welcome back to your learning journey in this machine learning and my name is Sachiket Murthy and I'll be with you in this today's session. Now in the last video, you have looked into the various types of machine learning. Now proceeding along in our machine learning journey, let's understand about the flow of machine learning. Let's see how exactly the machine learning is going to take place whenever we are working on the data set. Now, when we are working with the data set, first and foremost that we'll be working is with the data. So I'll have a data with me on this data set. Okay, so we are going to apply the machine learning. Now imagine a company, a company will have a, like, let's assume a company like an Amazon or a Flipkart or any company that you're aware of. Now, if you look into their business data, it will be huge volume. You cannot just use all the business data as it is. So what you will do for the benefit, you're going to create a subset. Okay, you will create a subset. Now, when I say subset, now just for an illustration purpose, subset is nothing but you're going to choose a sample of the data set. That means you will perform a kind of a sampling on the given data set. So this is your data set on this very huge data set. You are going to perform the sample selection. So you'll perform the sampling and you will extract a some amount of data set. Now on the data that you would extract the, on this data, you are going to split this into the two parts. We call this as a training part. Okay. And we also call the another part as the test part. So one part, we call it as a training and the other part, we call it as a testing. Okay. So here we will be using this training part for performing the training activity. So when I say training to learn the pattern that is present in the data set, I'll be using this training data. Now on this training data, in order to learn the patterns that is present in the data set what do we use yes we make use of machine learning so we make use of machine learning to learn the pattern that is present in this given data set now once we have learned the pattern with the help of machine learning then we are going to have a trained machine learning model so we will end up in having a trained machine learning model so we have got the trained machine learning model where this is a trained machine learning model which we have got this as an output as a result of performing the training on the given training data now this trained model is what we use it in order to generate the prediction so what we do is using the strain model we are going to generate the prediction and whatever the outcome that we get from the prediction we will go ahead and we will perform the evaluation so we perform this prediction and the evaluation on the test data so the data that we have set across aside we use the test data for performing the activity of prediction for performing the activity of prediction and evaluation of the machine learning model and the outcome that we get as a result of prediction that is the overall outcome that will help me to decide whether to keep this trained machine learning model or whether I have to retrain my machine learning model. So to have a quick recap, we'll have a data set where the business data will be stored. It can be any type of data. So it can be any type of data where I want to perform the analysis on top of it. Only thing is that I have to ensure that. So it, it should be suitable for the task that we will be performing. Okay. Now on this data set, we will perform the sampling. That means out of the huge amount of rows that have got in this data set, maybe I'll create a subset where I'll select these thousands of rows. Now, once I collect, select that subset, we'll perform the again split where here, while performing the split, I'm going to keep around 70% of data for training purpose and I'm going to keep the remaining 30% of data for testing purpose. 
will use the 70% of data for performing the training of my machine learning algorithm. And once we have trained our machine learning algorithm, next we will generate the prediction on the remaining 30% of the data set. So this is the flow of machine learning during the task of training. Now, once we have trained the machine learning model, what is the next activity that we do? So once we perform the training, we will use that trained machine learning model and we will deploy it as a service. So whenever we are getting the new data set, okay, whenever I'm getting a new data, I'll use that new data and I'll send that new data as an input for my trained machine learning model. And this will help me to generate the prediction okay this is going to generate the prediction on the new data so this phase is actually called as the prediction phase so this is what we do it and here this activity to do it in the production we call it as a machine learning deployment where we will post the trained machine learning model on a server and on top of that we'll go ahead and generate the prediction so this is a process flow that we follow in case of the machine learning and more specifically we are talking about supervised machine learning now here in case of supervised machine learning there are common supervised machine learning algorithms that you generally come across so what are those common supervised machine learning algorithms so these common machine learning algorithms are what we generally use it whenever we are trying to learn the patterns on this data set. So when I say machine learning algorithm, it comes at this part. So all this comes under the data part and this is my machine learning algorithm part. So let me list down some of the common machine learning algorithms. So this is not the exhaustive list. So there are other machine learning algorithms as well. So for simplicity, I'm going to name some of the common machine learning algorithms, especially under the supervised machine learning, we've got linear regression we've got logistic regression we've got a model called decision tree we've got a model called random forest we've got a model called naive Bayes algorithm okay and we've got a model called svm support vector machine we've got a model called knn that is k nearest neighbor algorithm we've got a, a family of model that we call it as boosting models so like this there are various machine learning algorithms that we have got with us so we for a given data set we will apply the various machine learning algorithm so that we can achieve the better accuracy on the data set this is the whole idea and the process flow about the machine learning now here now that you have understood about the common machine learning algorithms, the first activity that we will do is we will understand one of the most commonly used machine learning algorithm that's called as the linear regression machine learning algorithms. But before we deep dive into this linear regression machine learning algorithm, there's one more thing that you need to understand in case of supervised machine learning so in case of supervised machine learning we actually ca call this supervised machine learning algorithms belonging to the two classes so these classes of supervised algorithm is based on the type of task that we are going to perform and in case of supervised we actually have two types of the machine learning algorithms so first one we call it as a regression okay first one we call it as a regression and the other type of task that we would generally come across in case of supervised machine learning algorithm is called as classification so let's understand what is the difference between the regression and the classification well in case of regression okay the target value that we have that is the label so you already know what is labeled in the previous video so label will be of the data type real value okay it will be of the data type real value and in case of classification the label that we have got so 
this label will be categorical in nature okay it will be in categorical in nature it could be it could be a discrete value with the help of integer or it could be the string value so we have already discussed in detail about the types of data in our statistics videos that we have got in youtube so if you are if you want to learn more about statistics feel free to check out the statistics tutorial i would recommend that you follow along those videos in parallel you don't have to complete the statistics and come back over here so wherever it's required i'm going to give you the enough knowledge so that you can proceed with machine learning if you want to learn the statistics feel free to check out the other playlist that we have got now coming back over here in case of regression when i say real values the values are nothing but the continuous values that we will have okay the label will be of real value that is the continuous value and in case of classification it will be categorical in nature to give you an example price of a house and salary of a person number of i'll say profit of a company so these are all the examples of the regression task and in case of classification the example can be something like this whether it will rain or not rain today or not that's one example of classification and uh, favorite color of a person so here if you look into this example for the classification i'm saying as whether it will rain today or not so what will be the answer it will be either yes or no in case of favorite color of a person so there are multiple colors let's say we've got seven colors out of seven colors the person has to tell me what exactly is his favorite color so out of seven option he has to select one of the option so hence we call the task as the categorical task and in case of regression it's a real value see when you when i ask you about the price of the house you will say that okay price of the house is maybe 405 point something thousand dollars and salary of a person 100,000.525 profit of a company maybe you will have some values which is continuous in nature so i hope you are getting the difference between the classification and the regression in case of regression the label that is a target value that we talk about it's real value in nature and in case of classification it is categorical in nature all right so as part of this video you have learned about the process flow of machine learning especially the supervised machine learning we'll perform the sampling split the data into two parts apply the machine learning and using the trained model will generate the evaluation and prediction and once we have got the trained model we will generate the prediction and the common machine learning algorithms are these okay so now that you have the basic understanding in the next video we will begin our learning journey by understanding our first machine learning in our learning journey that is the linear regression okay guys so i'll see you in the next video and feel free to connect with me on linkedin you can search me on linkedin and i look forward to seeing you next time so thank you so much guys